This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Engine oil and filter renewal. Apply the handbrake. Chock the rear wheels. Position the jack under the vehicle. Raise the vehicle using the jack. Position axle stands. Then lower the vehicle onto the stands. Remove the jack. Undo the two retaining bolts and remove them. Pull the cover away from the engine and remove it from the vehicle. Position an oil drain container under the vehicle. Using a spanner, socket or allen key as applicable, slacken the drain plug about half a turn. Position the draining container under the drain plug, then remove the plug completely. Wipe the drain plug and the sealing washer with a clean rag. Examine the condition of the sealing washer and renew it if it shows signs of scoring or other damage which may prevent an oil-tight seal. It is considered good practice to fit a new washer every time. Clean the area around the drain plug opening and refit the plug complete with the washer and tighten it. Wipe clean the area around the oil drain plug. Note the location of the oil filter. Reposition the drain container beneath it. Anticipating some oil spillage, unscrew the filter cap. Lift out the filter cap, complete the oil filter and remove it from the vehicle. Pull the filter from the cap and remove the o-ring seal. Clean the filter cap using a cloth and dispose of the seal. Then fit the new filter and new o-ring seal to the cap and lubricate it with clean engine oil. Fit the cap to the housing and tighten it. Raise the vehicle using a jack. Remove the axle stands and lower the vehicle. Remove the jack. The chocks should be removed from the rear wheels. With the car on level ground, remove the oil filter cap and add the oil using the correct grade and type of oil. Pour in half the specified quantity of oil first, then wait a few minutes for the oil to run to the sump. Continue adding oil, a small quantity at a time, until the level is up to the min mark on the dipstick. Adding around one litre of oil will bring the level up to the max on the dipstick. Refit the dipstick and the filler cap. Stop the engine and wait a few minutes for the oil to settle in the sump once more. With the new oil circulated and the filter now completely full, recheck the level on the dipstick and add more oil as necessary. Apply the handbrake. Chock the rear wheels. Position the jack under the vehicle. Raise the vehicle using the jack. Position axle stands. Then lower the vehicle onto the stands. Remove the jack. Position the engine under tray. Refit and tighten the retaining screws to secure the under tray in place. This is how the under tray should appear once refitted, showing the correct location of all screws. Raise the vehicle using a jack. Remove the axle stands and lower the vehicle. Remove the jack. The chocks should be removed from the rear wheels.